And since he brought up Claypool, let's do a quick stat check for oh, him. Oh, yeah, bro. It's getting gory. It's, yeah, yeah. It is not li- like, I don't want to be that guy because I know that that can be like a lot. But, man, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to the Stills for that trade. Week shout out to 17, Omar Khan, bro. Chicago at Detroit. Yo. One target. Yeah, bro. Zero catches. Zero I, yards. I, like I said, I don't. I, no I, rushing yards either I for a jet sweep. I don't want. Oh, you petty as heck. That boy <laughs> said no jet sweep yards. You are. I got nothing foul, against Claypool. Bro. I really don't. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's why they like. I don't want it because I do feel like there are like people that, you know, try to pile up on him because of, you know, just his temperament and how his personality is. I don't want to do that, you know, but I definitely feel like this is a really good situation for the Steelers in terms of the results of this trade. I mean, it realistically could turn into a first rounder, essentially. Like, that's what it's going to be based on, you know. If the Texans win and Chicago yeah, loses, like that's that what it's happens? Literally, yeah, that's simple for us. So when you think about that context and you couple that with Claypool's productivity post-trade as well, you can see – why, you know, still nation feels so good about it. And then when you look at the emergence of a George Pickens, the consistency that we're seeing, even with the Deontay and certain elements, and even guys like Steven Sims, who we just talked about, you know, those type of players. And just finding our identity and like, just running the ball just, a lot better, too. Yeah, just being a better, more efficient team. Maybe not as explosive, but just more efficient and better in terms of productive, uh, in terms of productivity. I think that that is another reason why here in Still a Nation, like, we do feel extremely good about this trade because of all those names, man. So, you know, we, we, we appreciate you, Claypool. We do. Did you see his comments? I did. I, so I saw some of the bickering, but I don't know what's going on because mm-hmm. it was like him and Justin Fields. No, like I wasn't right? even was talking about on? that. I, I did see some of those headlines pop up yeah, whenever I, I Google like searched him. So I never saw that. I was talking about his comments leading into this game. Well, he was talking about, like, it's not a bad trade. Like, they're going to... Uh, yeah, he's like, like I smile every time yeah. knowing that they traded a second-round pick because I know how valuable a second-round mm-hmm. pick is. But I'm going to deliver. Yeah. <laughs> but even when he said that, people were tripping on it. And it's like, I yeah, get it. As a player, you always got that confidence, that belief. But right now, it's a lot easier for just a short term that we're going to feel good about it. You know? If he turns into Randy Moss out there, I think it's a different scenario. But we got to wait to see if that ever happens. But right now, yeah, he hasn't been the most productive player post-trade. So, yeah. 